Good morning girls and guys how are you all I hope you all are fit and fine at your places and I'm very sure you all are taking great care of yourself Well guys um uh, as you know very well that we have started our lesson number 6 electricity and this is going to be a third lecture on this topic Well um as you know very well that electricity is a form of energy used for many purposes and if you will concentrate on the right side of the slide you will get idea that what we are going to discuss today uh guys previously we have discussed about the sources of electricity right uh you know we have discussed that uh, what are the main sources uh, you know to get electricity in pakistan and we have discussed in our lecture number you know 8 uh, yeah lecture number 8 about the uses of electricity i have told you that uh, we have a number of uses of electricity in our daily life and these are you know electricity at home electricity industry and electricity in communication as well as in transport and um, today we are going to talk about you know few more you know sources of electricity in short you can say that at the end of this lecture you know you guys will be able to know about what are the main uh, you know sources of electricity and you know how they are useful for us okay and what is the importance of electricity in our life Well guys uh previously we have discussed about the sources of electricity you know in Pakistan electricity is produced in three major ways and we have discussed in our lecture number 9 uh you know about these major ways and you know these were about hydroelectricity thermal electricity and nuclear electricity we have discussed about you know three major uh, or main sources of electricity and in our today's lecture you guys will be able to know at the end of this lecture about solar energy wind energy and biogas well but you have to uh, keep one thing in your mind that previously we have discussed three major you know sources of electricity and the sources of electricity which we are going to discuss today these are not major and these are not main sources of electricity in pakistan okay as you know very well that pakistan is uh, is you know is a is not developed country it is it is developing country okay so here we produce electricity through water you know uh through many other sources well i have told you that hydro means water and hydroelectricity is produced using water stored in dams so it is very important uh, you know for all of us to make dam okay to contribute much to build dams because dams are you can say that the backbone for uh, you know backbone for the economy okay and uh, in pakistan this is pakistan uh, is you know is standing on the edge of you can say that devastation and poverty and it is very important for all of us to contribute for dam you know to to give much more to our government in dam funds and guys uh, i have told you that uh, you know in a thermal power stations fuel such as coal oil gas are burned to produce steam and guys uh, that steam is used to generate electricity right and i have told you that nuclear power plant produces heat energy from atoms and you know the heat uh, is produced you know by atom is used to generate electricity and today we are going to discuss about solar electricity wind energy and biogas so guys uh, you know without wasting much time let's get started well great three look at this picture which i have inserted in the slide in the slide carefully can you see uh, you know can you see the solar panels on the top of the roofs and these plates which you can see right now in this slide these plates are called solar panels okay these solar panels are used to store the energy or heat of the sun well guys um, solar panels are fixed on the rooftops as you have seen in the slide well guys uh, solar panels are fixed on the roofs of the buildings uh, where they can receive direct sunlight right look at this picture carefully well guys uh, you know uh, that heat uh, or you can say that the energy of sun is used to generate electricity and nowadays uh, this becomes you know this way becomes very famous and uh, may you have seen by yourself 
of you know solar panels and solar plates uh you know on many on the, on the roofs of many buildings and houses and i have seen by myself uh, you know on the street on the road side though many street lights are working you know on solar panels and due to the solar energy okay this is uh, you can say that this is a very very efficient way but you cannot use you cannot store you know uh, you know light all the way because this uh, solar panel system is good for those countries you know who have you know much more uh, you can say that the, for those for those countries who are experiencing more summer as compared to those countries who is experiencing winters most so you know pakistan's weather is a moderate weather and here we you know uh, you know here is summer time period is you know most probably long time period on long season so people are using solar panel in this country and which thing which uh, you know you have to remember you have to sir you have to keep one thing in your mind that solar energy is the energy received by the earth from the sun and guys uh, this energy is in form of solar radiation and uh, which makes the production of solar electricity possible and um, i have shown you that uh, solar panels are always fixed on the roofs of buildings okay where they can receive sunlight directly you know where they can receive direct sunlight suppose if you have solar solar batteries or solar panel and if you if you, if you will place them inside your room or inside the building or inside you know somewhere else so do you think that this is going to be a useful stuff for you definitely not so what you have to do you have to place the solar panels on the roof okay on that or the top of building so where they can receive the direct sunlight okay so so what is solar energy uh, solar energy is the energy you know received by earth from the sun okay or from the sun or sunlight or sun rays and guys remember that uh, this energy is in form of solar radiation which makes the production of you know solar electricity possible so guys um, what you have to do okay as you know very well that uh, you know there are many uh, you know there are some natural sources there are some artificial or man made sources, sources but natural sources are not reversible okay so you have to take care of those sources for example water is a natural source okay or um, it is a gift from our god so what you have to do you have to save you have to save electricity because electricity is also made from water you know via hydroelectricity so what you have to do you have to you know save electricity remember one thing that you have to switch off the extra lights when not when they are not in use and uh, which thing you can do you know uh, as a student to save electricity you have to turn off the lights when no one is watching tv and when you when no one is in the room okay you have to turn off the tv as well and you have to turn off the lights as well. okay for example right now i'm recording this lecture while sitting in my you know tv lounge and uh, you know in night next to me there is my kitchen and i saw light was uh, you know i saw the light was on there so what i did i switched off that light okay this is what we can do you know as a citizen so much light we will save so we will be able to provide electricity to those areas which have no we wish to not have this facility okay so girls and guys let's move towards our next source of electricity okay 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 before we talk about our next source of electricity let's watch this uh, you know slide together can you see this funny animation this animation shows very clearly that sun is throwing its light or heat or energy directly to you know solar panels and solar panels are saving that electric uh, sorry that energy or light or heat for the sake of making electricity right so <laughs> let's move towards our next slide well guys look at this picture carefully can you see uh, you know uh, this thing which is right now rotating or you know just poking popping up on your screen well guys this is the picture or this is the animation of uh, windmills well um, the energy of wind is used to generate electricity through turbines okay that sort or that that type of energy is called wind energy well girls and guys um wind energy is the converge converting of wind power to electrical power through the use of windmills or turbines so previously i have shown you the windmill let's watch it again these are the windmills okay so when they are moving fastly because of the speed of the wind so that speed of the wind is converted into you know uh, you know electricity and that electricity used in our homes and many other ways okay other places as well 
well guys electricity produced uh, you know is sent to the transform transformers where the voltage is increased and sent to the power grid wire transmission lines okay so wind energy is you can say that you know the energy of winds is used to generate electricity okay that type of energy where winds are used to generate electricity is called wind energy so let's talk about our next source of electricity well girls and guys before we talk about our you know the last mentioned source of electricity let me tell you one thing that uh, pakistan can generate 50000 megawatt of hydroelectricity and solar energy is the most uh, abundant energy source on the earth okay or you can say that it is a free of cost okay because you are you, you have not you, you you no one no one will compel you to pay for sunlight that is free okay so you can fix solar panels at the roof top and you can store heat energy of sun then you can utilize it for making electricity well 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 now we are going to talk about biogas look at the slide carefully can you see in this slide there is a plant uh, you know which is making you know biogas well guys biogas can be produced by uh, using the waste material of animals or you know be, uh, you know by the decomposition of organic matters and it is used through agriculture waste you know uh, you know plant materials food swamps and many other you can, animals waste is the most big source of biogas for example uh, have you guys ever seen cow pets cow pets are you can say that uh, in, in urdu or in easy language gober well guys cow pets gober and many other waste materials are used to generate electricity and that is the most cheap and the most convenient and most easy method to generate electricity and guys uh, nowadays gradually pakistan is moving towards making electricity through cheap manners okay and uh, biogas uh, you can say that uh, you know uh, is is something uh, which we all can think about because we do have many uh, you know many uh, you know garbage in our places and we we have seen that the cow pet can be used okay so why not let's 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 work together uh, you know let's think together about it that how we can make electricity through different manners okay because nowadays pakistan is facing too much shortfall of electricity okay so in today's lecture or previous lectures we have studied about many other sources uh, many easy sources to generate electricity well biogas is formed by the natural uh, you know material or or you can say that the organic matter you know that is that is something which is called convenient okay we all can generate electricity through this manner okay what you have to do you have to study the different books and you have to uh, you know make some you have to do some you know google search and by doing this you guys can get idea how much it is easy to generate electricity through different manners okay and these manners are quite cheap well girls and guys you know every year uh, you know uh, 590 to 8 million 800 million tons of you know methane is, are released into the atmosphere and biogas contains 50 to 70 percent of methane and 30 percent of carbon dioxide so this is something which is called you can say that a very good numbers or very good figures so what you have to do you have to play this video till end and um, you know make sure that you are listening each and every point okay whenever you are listening any lecture whenever you are you know just playing any video make sure you should have a rough register rough notebook or something like that in front of you where you can note down your all you know queries and all questions uh, or related anything which, which comes in your mind you can ask you to your teacher at any time okay you guys have our whatsapp number so you can whatsapp us your queries and your concerns and any questions what whatever comes in your mind so girls and guys uh, you know that's all about you know which what, what was uh, you know target of ourselves to, to study today that was our target to discuss you know uh, about the sources which are cheap to generate electricity so today we have discussed about solar energy wind energy and biogas
So let's talk about our uh, today's assignment. Your assignment, I used to keep assignments very simple for you because I know many of you are, you know, like uh, spending most of the time inside your house and no, you're not going to for any tuition and you're not getting help of any other person. That's why I used to give very assignments, very easy assignments to all of you. Okay, so make sure that I'm giving you easy assignments, but you have to complete them as well. Okay, and must send to your teachers concerning teachers and I think you all have the WhatsApp numbers of those teachers who are supposed to check your assignments because assignments are the key, uh, you know, key for your, you can say that the, the assignments are the proof that you all have studied the lecture carefully, you have studied your, you know, uh, book carefully. So what you have to do in today's assignment, you have to define biogas and solar energy in your own words. Make sure don't use the bookish words. Try to explain them in your own words. And you have to tell them that how you can generate electricity. Okay. You have studied about six uh, to seven, sorry, six, uh, you know, sources of electricity, which is convenient for you. Okay. You have to answer that thing as well. Well, girls and guys, take care of yourself. I will see you in your lecture number 11. Till then, do whatever you want to do, but make sure you're not creating trouble or problem for your parents.